Hello, what's up guys, and welcome to Crisis 3, where it belongs on the PC. As you'd expect, and as you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, I've got to say, I've never seen a game that looks this good. I think we all did expect it, and as they said it would, it does melt your PC. Running at a resolution of 1920 by 1200, a GTX 680 and a Core i5-2500 only managed to get between 29 and 45 frames. It's pretty much a solid 30 frames per second outside and a solid 45 inside. The basic synopsis of the story is that you're trying to hunt down the Cell Corporation and as well as some aliens that are out there. There aren't very many left but there's something called the Alpha Seth that you've been hearing rumours of but of course we'll let you discover all that for yourself what you're seeing here is the third level and we've just got into the jungle and we just shut off all the power so we're in the dark and they've only got backup searchlights and stuff left we're trying to explore a facility and the facility is run by cell so they're swarming with enemies the gameplay is absolutely fantastic it's always been pretty good but it's been refined really nicely you're still in the same trademark nano suit and manually toggling your cloak and armor is as fun as it always has been I've got to say it's really nice if you have a mouse with some extra buttons on the side and then you can use them to toggle on the suit and it makes it a lot easier one thing I will say because I made the mistake and had to look it up myself is that there is actually quite well not that major but there is a glitch in the Crisis 3 gameplay and I will strongly advise that you do not remap any of your keys until you've played level 1 and there's one door at the very start so only about two minutes in that you have to hack and you cannot get through this door if you've rebound certain keys this only happens at this door so once you've got past the first door feel free like I have to change a load of keys around but the door will not open if you rebind certain keys we don't know exactly why it is so if you do pick up the game just make sure you rebind the keys after you've got through that door the screen you just saw was the hacking interface where I was talking about the rebinding thing and that's a new thing in Crisis 3 and there are turrets, mines, various different things that Cell own and you can use your nanosuit to remotely hack them so door pads, turrets, anything like that and you can actually hack them which is a really nice little touch, it works really nicely and it's just a bit different to Crisis 2. It's not open world, it's not completely open world but it's definitely more open than Crisis 2 was it's a semi-open world and there are many ways to proceed it's not a case of you proceed down here kill everyone and move you don't have to kill anyone if you really don't want to but there are loads of options I like to mix it up and as you can see here I'm trying to do a bit of stealth your energy recharges and while it's recharging I'll just shoot anyone up that I can see do like to use the armor in it, it's just a nice bit of fun uh, I can't say for sure yet but I have heard that the campaign is only about eight to nine hours long but as anyone that's played the multiplayer beta will know the multiplayer is actually very very good there may be a separate video that I'll put out on that later on and I'll definitely discuss it in my review this is the nanosuit upgrades you can do so you can have any four of those you like and you up unlock stuff as you progress through the game it's quite good it means that every time you play the game it might be a little bit different and it means that your tactics change throughout the game depending on what upgrades you choose so I'm currently equipped with upgrades that will mean that my energy recharges quicker my stealth lasts longer and I take a little bit less damage when in armor mode those little symbols you can see over there are from the tagging system so you see I've already tagged that turret uh, I've got to reduce my distance to the turret before I can hack it but you can tag enemies, mines, anything that's at all useful you can pin that to the minimap and then you can see where it is similar like you can do in Far Cry but obviously this makes a lot more sense because you've got this nano suit with a heads up display so this is the hacking module that you saw earlier I wasn't that good at it here but I did manage to do it and all you have to do is press the F key whenever those are in the zone and then that turret will hack and it will be on your team the character models are fantastic uh, Psycho who is the voice you can just hear in the earpiece is he's really good the voice acting is good the facial animation is fantastic and actually the game runs very nicely although it is a bitch to run because it's so detailed it actually is quite seems to be quite efficient and for instance I'm recording this at 30 frames per second with no problems 
whereas the less than satisfactory Aliens Clone and Marines, I did actually have problems recording that for some reason, so yeah, we don't really know why that is, but this is very efficient and there's loads of options, so even if you can't run it on Ultra, which realistically I can only run between 30 and 45, so unless you have a 690 then you probably might want to tone some of the settings down especially for multiplayer as far as the story goes it's been very interesting I've been immersed again unlike Aliens Colonial Marines it does have Call of Duty like set pieces but of course they look fantastic and they're a lot more story related and actually are better to watch and there's none of this press X nonsense then press Y nonsense no it's, it's all controlled by you or it's not controlled by you at all through just standard cutscenes nice mix and as far as cinematics go it looks absolutely fantastic I may bring you another video on the multiplayer I'll let you know how long this takes to film but I will definitely do my review as soon as I've finished the game and played the multiplayer sufficiently so I will see you next time